Now the third method of making a 3D object is called repulse, as you can see here. Now I'm going to try to make this 2D square, the, the, the white square in the middle, I'm going to try to make it 3D. And to do that, I need to hold on to the control key and click on, left click on this right here. And as you can see, the square is now selected. So you would then go up to the 3D bar. And as you can see here, the word repels is no longer in gray. It is now uh, selectable and you go to the right and you can see there are four options text layer, layer mask, selected path and current selection so now you would know that only under these four circumstances can there be uh, a repulse action uh, to be, to be uh, executed for 3D effect so now I would click current selection As you can see, a window would uh, pop up, and you can change the presets, uh, the shape, the material, the inflate, the scene settings. Now, for the purpose of uh, showing you this example, I'm going to change the depth to, let's say, uh, 1.68. So I click OK. And as you can see the shape is now it's it's I added more depth to it so as you can see it changes and now if you feel like uh, you left out some if you feel if you feel like uh, there's some you wanna edit there's something else you wanna change you simply go back to 3d repels and edit in repels And here you can change the material to let's say I want to make it I want to give it a uh, uh, a forest like feeling so I would click this and it would look like a piece of wood I click OK and voila however we are not done I'm gonna show you how to carve a shape or carve anything into this piece of wood so now what I would do is click right click on this on the left the shape tool and go to custom shape tool and as you can see there are many shapes to choose from I'm gonna try to make it into a shape of a rabbit and as you can see I can make it a fat rabbit, a skinny rabbit, a tall rabbit and such so once you've make, made a rabbit again you would want to go up to 3D uh, repulse and click on create constraints from selected path what this means is the constraints means every anything inside of what you created before so in this case would be the rabbit so everything here everything here or I mean everything under internal constraints would only be indicated on the rabbit so if you want to change anything here it would not it would not affect uh, the square itself only the rabbit so as you can see all of these are in gray right now it cannot be clicked it cannot be changed what you want to do is add, uh, change it to inactive and active again and there you go everything is now not in gray it's highlighted so for act to uh, if you want to change the angle you simply click on angle and uh, the more negative you change it as you can see on the changes of the rabbit it will sink in. It will sink in as if uh, someone or someone is pushing it into the wood. And on the other hand, 
if you make it positive, it will stick out. So, judging by whichever uh, angle you like, let's say 73 positive. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And uh, oh, and there are many options here you can choose from. There is a scale, the 3D constraints, uh, rotate, uh, pan the 3D constraints. So you can simply drag it, left click it, and play around with it. And there's yeah many options you can choose from. And of course. A lot of details, a lot more uh, options and changes are furthermore discussed in the book. So you may look into that. For now, this is making a 3D object. Chapter 15-1. Thank you.